If every family in England bought a leg of pork this Christmas and said, blow your turkeys, there'd be three bob a pound next year. Why don't we do it? We did. We had pork. Oh, yes, of course. It needs more than us. Needs them as has money to stop spending it. By gum, you should have seen the pound notes changing hands on market yesterday. Still, you can't blame them, I suppose. If we had money, we wouldn't care a toss for them as hadn't. Right, there we are. That's done. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, it's the least we could do, either. That were a very nice dinner. Aye, it was that. All right, well, leave them be. I'll put them away later. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm quite sure. Come on and sit down. And pass them fondants. <coughs> That's one to me. I'm a fondant, though. Oh, dear. Oh, nice. Hey, I'll bet you were only kidding. Oh, Dennis Tanner. I bet you were up to his old tricks. Don't know about him. You're up to yours. What are you on about? Well, they were talking to me about the party tonight. He said they were going to play a certain game. Oh, I know about that. What did he say? Yes, that's what I heard. No need to whisper, I know and all. Oh, it's right then, is it? No, it's why it shouldn't be. Did you happen to hear who it was going to be? I had heard it was you. Oh, some hopes of that. How did you hear that, Tina? No, you are, you see. She's already up on that stage with all her family round her. Am I echoes like? It might be worth it to hear the true story of Lillian Will. Oh, I've no secrets. My life's an open book. I from your one at few them. Well, there are things in my life as I wouldn't like to come out, uh, not in front of strangers. Then you'd better not go, then. Oh, it, it won't be me. Hey, suppose it's you, Ina. Well, I'd give them their money's worth, especially if they sent to Australia for my cousin Letty. I'd tell her what I thought about her and I wouldn't care who was listening. Yours was a life of service which can best be summed up by these words. Three milk stouts, please. Now, Mrs. Caldwell, something peculiar happened that first night at the Rovers' return. Can you tell us what it was? Uh, no, I can't. Just a minute. Uh, it was January, you know. Pardon, Mrs. Sharp. It was January when you moved in. It was February. All right, have it your own, Robert. I'll still say it was January. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, Mrs. Goldwell, something peculiar happened that first night. Something unforgettable. Oh, yes. Oh. I forget what it was. <laughs> uh, you uh, went up to the bar, right? Yes. <laughs> and you ordered some drinks. Right. Oh, yes, yes, now I remember. <laughs> and when I come to pay, I hadn't got enough money with me. And the first thing that Mrs. Walker says to me was, have them on me. Oh, oh, I don't remember that. Oh, have them on me, words from a generous heart. Thank you, ladies. Oh, you take you. your seat, please. Thank you. But... She's a jolly good fellow, but she's a jolly good fellow.